submission victory. Body triangle trying to sit up. Having no success versus Gracie. Backwards punch from Flynn. Gracie controlling the arms, controlling the wrist. Again, looking rear naked choke. Pressure along the jawline. He has the head turned. He can crank the neck and the jaw from here. He can get the tap. Tap, 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 tap. There's the tap on the crank. And that is a cool clinical victory in his Bellator debut for Naaman Gracie. We got here body triangle. Bobby Flint sat up. Couldn't see from the position we were in how deep it was. I think it stayed on this neck crank. It seems to cross the jaw, the head is twisted. That is extremely painful. Right there, I don't think it slid underneath the, the jaw. I think it stayed in neck crank. Look at the back position. The hip pressure, so much crank on the neck of Bobby Flynn. No choice but to tap himself, but Neiman Gracie doesn't rush it. He'll stay in that position, work for the submission over and over and over again, but he doesn't rush. Nice arm bar transition. He might have it. Now Rudy Pierce. He tapped. He tapped. It snapped. Saw it pat, pop backwards. That's why there was a delay there. And from here on out, Rudy Bears in a defensive mode. Look at this step over to the armbar. Boom. Beautiful stuff. Straightens the arm. Now look, as he tries to pull out, his arm pops. Right there. And he taps right there. Hook in by Gracie now taking the back of Got it. Dave Marfone. Oh, wow. Nice escape by attempt by Marfone, but that's an all or nothing. Yeah, when you get the guy from back, you end up in deeper trouble. And right now, he's in deeper trouble. Body triangle by Gracie. We've seen how deadly he can be from this position. And we've seen people tap out due to the pressure exerted due to the body triangle. Especially in this position, yeah, Jimmy, you flatten out your opponent. Now he's looking for the rear naked choke. The Mataleo, the Lion Kill in Brazil, will he be able to submit Dave Marfone? And he does. Naaman Gracie improving the 6 and 0 with surprise, surprise, a submission victory. You knew once he got a dominant position, Dave Marfone was in serious trouble. Arm underneath the chin. Look at that pressure. Those long legs extending the hips of Marfone. The key to the rear naked choke is opening your opponent up, putting pressure on his hips, and that's exactly what Naaman Gracie did. From now on, though, he's in the shark tank <laughs> at 170. That's Nicely a monster done. division. Advertising. And there's Gracie again. Takes the back, looking to put the hooks and immediately goes for the rear naked choke. Two hooks in, back where he started. How do you defend this, Jimmy? Don't get in it. I mean, I, mean, is there I, mean any, I agree, I understand, but I mean, I know that, any... that's genius commentary, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. but it's but so it's hard once you're in this position. Now, what are you worried about? Yeah. You're worried about your neck. You're worried about the choke. But man, can you have a body like, especially when someone has legs like Neiman Gracie? Mm. What he wants to do is put his, the flat of his back on the ground, turn toward Neiman Gracie. You risk giving up mouth, but that's the only way out of this position. Kind of scrape Neiman off of his back, but yeah, well easier said. said than done. Yeah, so much easier said than done. The problem that he's getting into this is his tendency to defend the takedown by turning his body. That gives Neiman Gracie his back. And you know, that's really the the, the rub of taking on a guy like Neiman Gracie who's been grappling his whole life. Oh, here. What's the advice in between corners if you don't already know how to deal with this? He's got him in the neck and that's it! More of a neck crank than a rear naked choke, but it's a submission. And much to the light of Hoyce Gracie, Neiman Gracie improves to 7-0. Look at it here. Rather than go for a choke that he hadn't been able to get before, he stays on the chin and cranks it to the right. Look at the torque on the neck. Brutal stuff by Neiman Gracie, but a technical change. He turns his entire body to get the neck crank because he didn't want to waste any more time looking for the rear naked choke. You should turn over so he is not belly down on the ground with that body triangle. 
This is a better position for him. And Gracie looking for that Monteleon, the line kill that Rene could choke, but hand grappling by Ruth, but... And you know he can do it lightning fast. He can, he should switch that right now. That That's up, keep the body triangle the way it is. Just work your hands. But Neiman Gracie in this position, like you said before, Marl loves a neck crank. He will bring that arm across the face and start to twist. And we talked about it, it during the prelims, the reason being because of MMA gloves. He feels, oh, there Rip it is! Out. There it is, and Ruth taps! Neiman Gracie wins again via submission! Now watch Ed wow. try to turn. You see him let him rotate right in between his legs. He's got that body triangle set up, and he slowly, systematically starts to break him down. Ed did the right thing in trying to move the position so he wasn't belly down. But look at when you got a guy that is as good with submission and is good with that choke as Neiman Gracie is, it's only a matter of time before you make the mistake that lets him get his arm around your neck. The pressure is there and there's nothing you can do. Just keep applying that pressure until the position happens. That's what Neiman Gracie's doing. He's not working hard, he's working smart. Gracie and his wife Karina, the proud parents of Cali, born in March. And, and Cali's dad looking to secure that arm triangle choke. He does not want to let him get cross side on that. Now that is tight. A minute 45 left in so the second. He's going to go up. Forced to tap out for the first time in his career. And the Gracie train oh, keeps rolling in Bellator MMA oh, as yeah. Neiman Gracie improves to 8-0 yeah. and o with his seventh submission victory. Buries his head down, gets the arm triangle choke here, and just slowly starts to apply pressure without really squeezing hard until he gets his body in the correct position. Once he passes to that side, now he can create enough pressure to now that is a tight choke. Nobody is gonna be able to stay with that. You're either gonna tap or go to sleep. Grace. This is where John makes his living in the gym. And I'm being honest, this, he encourages this type of stuff because these are things that most jiu-jitsu guys don't see from this type of wrestling. That leg is in danger once again. He's be careful with that left leg. You see him taking it and arching that ankle back, pulling it back so Neiman can't force a straight ankle lock. He needs to be careful of that inverted heel hook. No, but what he's doing is he pushed that arm, that leg to the other side so he could go reverse heel hook on exactly. this, the inverted heel hook as you like to call it. But what John needs to do is he needs to tripod up and push his hands to the mat. What Ed Ruth made the mistake last night of doing is letting his balance get taken forward. They're talking to each other with smiles on the face. That's good. It is all over! Look at what's going on here. This is where he had his leg trapped. You see John's left leg under there. Look at where he's got the heel. He is knee barring and pulling on that with a twist. It's almost a, a connection of that heel hook, the inverted heel hook, but the straight knee bar position. He's pulling and twisting that down. That is an inverted heel hook with the hips engaging that knee. That is a painful submission. Beautiful job.